Hey everybody, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to take a look at ToolWiz Time Freeze. This allows you to create a virtual environment of your computer, which means it, well, what it sounds like, it looks like your computer, but it's not. You're actually in a mode where you can't damage or do anything on your system or save it. It also has a secondary mode I'm going to hit real quick to show you. It's called File Protection, so the program has two different modes. File Protection is going to allow you to simply add folders or files. As you can see, I'm browsing to my temp folder and simply click start file protection nothing fancy nothing difficult and let's browse over here to my temp folder that is now protected this is the one downside to it it actually i can see the photos i'm not a big fan of the way that works i'd rather it found a way to kind of block them because photos is one thing somebody might want to hide and if i double click the folder or i'm sorry the photo as you can see it's not going to open the file i can't open it i can't edit it nothing same with the html it's not going to let me see it. You cannot edit it. You cannot touch it. Now let's come back over here and let's stop the file protection. And there's the photo, my old 82 shovel head. And if I want to open an HTML page, everything works again. Optionally, you can enable password protection and change your password. Now let's get into the meat of the program, the time freeze. As you can see, I already started it. It actually works as simply as what you just saw. You come right here and you click start time freeze. And from here on out, everything you see me doing, and then actually kind of the funny thing, this video is going to be stuck in time freeze. I'm actually going to have to save this video and move it off my hard drive because this is going to remove it when I'm done using the program because technically I'm not actually saving this video. And let me give you some examples here by one of the worst things you could possibly do, which is click links in email. But you get great deals on Viagra, buck eighty-five, baby. Um, let's see here. What do we got here? Looks like more pills by the address, but do we really care? New. No. And we've got a couple of file attachments. Uh, boy, you get a lot of junk from these AOL email accounts, but it's got my name on it, so let's pop it open. See what we got going on here. Ten million dollars. Yeah. Yeah, I'm out of here. This is my last video, guys. Ten million dollars. Look at that. And here's another one. Let's see what they got going on. Three and a half million. Hmm. Well, when you get offered ten million, three and a half million just doesn't seem like that much. And let's see where this one goes. Pictures. I hope it's nothing horrible. This is not rehearsed, so we'll take our chances and see what it does. See if it actually loads, of course. That would help. Whoop. Uh oh. You've probably seen this before or heard of people that had it, so this works out really, really well. This is probably going to pop up a program on me now, pretend to scam my system, try to scare me into getting my credit card information, and probably install what one of the more popular rogue programs out there like antivirus 2012 they're made to sound like they're norton's antivirus see i got all these worms and you know i know i don't have all this stuff because my system's in a virtual mode there's nothing on my machine so we can close this yeah i know you're going to make it difficult on me and it's gone and let's pop it out of the way and that's it as you can see we can run around and do almost anything we want to do and not worry about our system now the last thing you're going to want to do is stop the time freeze. I'm not going to be able to reboot because of the video, plus I have to save it. But just to show you how it works, you have two choices. Turn off the protection and save all changes. So if you were using the program and you didn't just do some of the stupid things you just saw me do, you could save the changes so you basically reboot and your computer will come back right to where it was. Uh, with all the changes made. However, if you leave it in the default setting, which is turn off the protection and drop all the changes, once you restart, everything I've done that you just saw me do didn't happen. I'll come right back to where I was when I actually clicked Start Time Freeze. It's actually that simple. It's a nice, safe, simple way to browse the web, watch movies, do different things where you're a little nervous. You just want to protect your system for a bit. I can't see you using it all the time, but it has it definitely has a neat little I mean if you've used some of these other sandbox they call them type of programs a lot of times they take a lot more configuring a lot more working to get them working and sometimes they'll run a separate window for you and, and they're pretty neat but as far as trying out something like this for simplicity to just start it stop it and reboot it's a pretty neat way to do it uh, the link is in the description uh, give it a shot it's totally free see if you like it and we'll see you next time